Hello Avipedia users, welcome to Science and Tech Value Edition series with Dr. Vek Rana. In this series, I will be covering themes and topics which are beyond your class lectures. This is an attempt to add value to your preparation because Science and Tech is a module which requires constant updations. So, if you are not following regular current updates, this topic is likely to get compromised. Even though we had discussed in class lectures how to prepare centralized notes and add themes to it, but since the topic is so dynamic and vast, we felt that we should add value to your preparation by giving this series. So in this series, I'll be covering the topics which are in news and I will be dividing this video into three parts. Firstly, I will discuss what that topic or theme is about in basic language and then I will move to why it is currently in news because that's how you have to integrate that theme to your notes. And finally, we will be covering what could be likely pre or mains topics which could be asked from that theme. So I hope I am clear what we are trying to do with this, uh, with this new attempt of the science and tech valuation series and hopefully you will uh, really it helpful in you in bridging your preparation. So the topic with which we are starting is in news for last two weeks, it's SOVA RIGPA. If you could recall, we ended our science and tech lectures with medicine and healthcare theme. So this is a continuation of that theme because this was not covered in our class lectures. So if you are following the newspaper regularly, you will be aware about nitty gritties of this topic, but still we should not take it for granted and I am adding what is not covered in typical newspapers so that you could make what it's all about. So first of all, whenever you cover any science and tech topic or any current affair topic, you should focus on genesis of the term or what that literal meaning of that theme is. Since SOA RIGPA is not a common word which we use in dairy parlance, so first of all you have to decode what SOA RIGPA is. So literal meaning of SOA RIGPA is signs of physical and mental healing. So it clearly highlights that we are going to focus on some medical system which is likely to benefit our healthcare. So next theme arises, is it some traditional system or it's some new technology which has been developed because if a pre-question is likely to be asked, they are likely to confuse you with this uh, aspect only. Whether it's a traditional technology or whether it's a new technology which has been recently developed by some team. So here you have to understand that SOA RIGPA is a Tibetan traditional medical system. It is touted as one of the oldest living and well documented traditional medical systems of the world. So more or less the concept as well as Churi practice is common with Ayurveda, the traditional medical system which we are aware of. But over the years it has been enriched with Chinese, Greek as well as Ayurvedic system. So it emer has emerged as a major traditional system with minimal side effects and it's well accepted in lot of communities. So moving forward, what's the history behind this? Because as you can see on blackboard, there are some unfamiliar and difficult terms which I have written on the board. So I, these are related to the history of this SOA -ray. So for any discipline when we go, there are some individuals who have contribut contributed immensely to that theme and the name that stands uh, clearly uh, in, in this Soa Rikpa theme is Yu Thong Yonten Gonpo. Now he is regarded as father of Soa Rikpa. What is it that made him uh, this gave, have given this title? Because for every literature or any medical text there are some fundamental textbooks. So fundamental textbook of Soa Rikpa is nothing but Judzi. So I have written this spelling, you could jot it down because that can help you when you are revising this theme and it's a difficult word. So Judzi is, uh, it literally translates to four tantras. So this is nothing but four pillars on which this whole art of Soa Rikpa is revolving. And once again I am highlighting this is science of physical and mental healing which is involved in traditional medical systems. Over the periods, uh, due to rich cultural heritage, India has exported this medical system to different parts of the world and Soa Rikpa is no exception to it. 
the amchi word which you are is enlisted next is the person who practices this art form so amchi is the person who has mastered so arikpa and is using for well being of people so you, if you are going to amchi he will be the healer who is called and there are formal courses which are being run which are currently called as manpa kachupa these are six year courses in which the art and science of so arikpa is taught so this is what sova rikpa in simple plain terms means but then the question arises is it some art form which is totally indigenous to india or due to its efficacy has traversed to different parts of the world so examiner might confuse you that is it some global phenomena is it some national pan asia or it some asia asia pacific uh, system so here you have to understand soa rikpa primarily is indian system but it is being practiced in globally in different countries so what are the countries these are nothing but the neighboring countries of india nepal bhutan china mongolia and some parts of russia since you are a upsc aspirant indian angle has to be covered more intricately and you must understand that soa rikpa in india is practiced in himalayan region states only and to be or to be more precise it's practiced in ladakh in himachal pradesh there is lahol and spiti and dharamshala and then we have the sikkim arunachal pradesh and darjeeling region of west bengal so these are the region where this art form has been practiced over generations and is prospering in a good way so it it's a traditional medical system and which is being being uh, practiced at different himalayan states and it has largely been neglected over the years it was only in 2009 that india became fourth country to formally recognize the soa rikpa system and the other three countries where it was first recognized was china bhutan and and there is another mongolia just three countries so india was the fourth country to formally enroll and then over in the years you must have if you are following current affairs you have must have seen that pre present government as well as previous one they are trying to mainstream the ayush system so ayush system which has siddha as one of the major components as it has integrated soa rikpa as well and in 2000 only last year ayush acronym now also includes soa rikpa so government is trying to formalize this system so by now you can understand what soa rikpa is what is its history and what are its geographical angles now we have to move to the next uh, level the, the second part of this lecture that why it is currently in news there must be some incidents or happenings which has brought this topic to limelight so here i would like to highlight that on november 20 union cabinet has formally decided to uh, set up nicer national institute of soa rikpa so if, if you want to really formalize any discipline there are proper ways to institutionalize it even though there are four centers in india where this art is being practiced but a nodal agency which can spearhead the culture and preserve it would be established so Uh, the likely pre question could be that what could be the region where this nicer is being set up so it's being set up in ladakh it will be a totally autonomous institution under the ambit of ministry of ayush since ayush i am highlighting once again ayush uh, uh, is acronym which stands for ayurved there is yoga and naturopathy yunani then there is siddha and soa rikpa and then finally homeopathy so here you have to understand that uh, the what why it is being established that you should also be uh, clear in your minds that now you know, soa rikpa traditional wisdom is well accepted so it's time to synergize these traditional medical system with the modern sciences so that some new treatments or some existing treatments could be streamlined and since healthcare has been inaccessible in rural parts we can make best use of this traditional medical system so the longer vision is to make healthcare accessible in the difficult terrains or where the allopathic doctors have not yet penetrated so that's the whole idea behind ayush but that's not all if you are wondering that only the institution level has been set up that's why it is in news 5 days later india has decided 
to uh, seek recognition of Suva Rigpa as intangible cultural heritage of India. So it has formally seek recognition from UNESCO, United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization. So this is a positive step because in wake of uh, globalization, cultural diversity are, is facing threat from numerous angles. So these traditional medical systems are at times get neglected due to the outdated nature and traditional methods and they do not stand test of time. So we need to preserve such cultural heritage systems on war footing. So this is one of the positive initiatives once again which is being uh, carried out. Now, uh, those of you who are still wondering with the terminologies which I have just used, intangible, tangible cultural heritage sites. So, UNESCO uh, currently divides the uh, into two uh, themes. There are uh, cultural uh, tangible sites which you commonly refer to or follow in your GK or general studies part like monuments, buildings, artifacts, all these are tangible. But apart from that, there are living traditions, there are other um, uh, cultural traditions which are passed from ancestors to descendants, orally or some other uh, form, such are called intangible cultural heritage links. So this is an intangible cultural uh, heritage which we are trying to preserve. So when India has sought for recognition of Suva Rigpa from UNESCO, there is a country which is strongly objecting to it and no price for guessing it, it's once again China. So China and India are at loggerheads for claiming the legacy of Sova Rigpa because the Tibetan system is claimed by China and India is trying to push it. You can see how the journey has been. They have first integrated their creating institution, they have integrated into Ayush, now they are creating a nodal agency and straight away applying for intangible cultural side. So, just like RCEP and other themes which are in news, you must have following the current affairs, India has taken once again a positive step of initiating hand-in-hand -hand exercise with China and you must have followed the venue, this time is in Umroi in Meghalaya. So, it's like one of the irritants which is once again developing in the relationship. So, whatever news appears regarding Sova Rigpa, it should be followed because this topic will, can be asked in pre means. So, coming to the final part, so how this theme can be asked in prelims or mains? Because a lot of students find difficulty, they are reading topics, they are enriching, following XYZ website, downloading their notes and just cramming the facts. But they don't apply that what could be likely themes or how far you have to uh, read the topic. So, you, uh, the best way is to open the news paper, just go through the contents and then compare what we have uh, covered. So you will find some themes which are different but they should have been uh, covered uh, in your preparation. Coming to first prelims part, so questions can be, uh, questions are on expected lines. Like they could ask term Sova Rikpa is sometimes seen in news. What does it? So confusing options they can create that it, they may say that it's a traditional agricultural practice which is followed in part of Southeast Asia so, or it could create since water uh, scarcity theme is going on they may create it's a water harvesting system which has been followed in Tibet so they may highlight the exact region or some Leh, Ladakh region and then try to confuse you so here you have to understand you have to link this topic exclusively to medical and healthcare which, is, which you have just uh, highlighted in introduction that it's nothing but the traditional Tibetan medical system which has survived for centuries and it's well documented, the text which I have just highlighted. So if easy question comes, the question is likely to be revolving around these terms only. If they are formulating statement based question, apart from the what it is, they might ask random facts related which I have just highlighted. Once again for quick revision, uh, the first name Yuthok Yontan Gonpo is father of the Sova Rikpa. Yudzi is the textbook, fundamental textbook. Amchi are person who are practicing, Manpa Kachupa is the course which is being run in four institutions and Nicer is the institution in Leh where it had been created. In state services, if this theme is to be asked like Himachal Pradesh notification is likely to be out, they are likely to ask this theme that where is the center for National Institute of Sova Rikpa to be created. And the interesting thing is that uh, newly created UT, this was the first decision they, which have, they have taken. So it's a positive direction and they are trying to preserve their culture. 
Coming to the second level of questions, they could uh, highlight some textbook and they try to confuse you with literary text of Kalidas or some other ancient history uh, textbook which is available in medieval India. So make sure you are clear because sometimes three terms are given and they will highlight that these terms are related to and then some options are created. So coming to mains part, this theme is not likely to be asked full fetch and uh, it can be broadly clubbed under issues relating to intellectual property rights. You could go a reference how India needs to preserve this traditional knowledge because uh, in one of the years traditional digital knowledge library theme has been asked and uh, there are irritants, uh, we should claim them rightly otherwise there is a dispute later on which is not in interest of communities because uh, anything which has a positive theme should not get into controversy. Okay. So this is this what SOA Rikpa is all about. I hope this session was useful and it, had, it helped you in value enrichment. For any doubts and queries, you could list in comment section. Whenever I will get time, I will get back to you. So we will continue with this series because uh, you, next theme could likely be from space topic because we all know ISRO is going to bounce back with PSLB missions. So thank you very much. I hope this session was useful.